In other news now, no change at the top, but good news for Oscar Mabuyane, who's been re-elected as the ANC's Eastern Cape chairperson, while Mlungi Simvoko retains his position as deputy. These are but some of the outcomes of the much-delayed provincial elective conference of the ANC. ENCA senior reporter, Spaman Lekoke, following these developments for us. Let's go to him now live for the latest update. Good afternoon, um, Spaman. Mabuyane has raised the issues of the organization's voting system. Talk to us about that. Before I talk to you about that, but then allow me to get a quick comment from this gentleman that I've spotted here, uh, who is the provincial treasurer of the ANC in the Eastern Cape, newly elected. His name is Zolile Williams, and I think he will come back now. He was disappearing. Uh, provincial treasurer Zolile Williams, thank you very much for your time. There have been concerns about you being the municipal manager contesting for a political office. Will you be resigning soon as the MM? Yes, um, look, we need to prepare first the handover report uh, in the municipality so that in the process we, we are responsible in ensuring that there's a, po a proper process in, in giving um, um, the whole um, look. All right. I'm saying, I'm saying there's, the, the song is disturbing me. I'm saying what is going to happen is that we will soon be resigning in a few weeks. The first thing we must do is to prepare a proper handover report to the council because I have served that council for more than 20 years and I would like to round up my work properly. And secondly, um, I have to rearrange uh, myself because I soon have to re relocate and be closer to the provincial office. One of the challenges will be to fundraise for a bankrupt ANC. The financial report tabled there by Babalo Matigizela is not looking good. You will be inheriting an organization that financially is on the red. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think we, we all understand the challenges that are faced by the organization. But I think the challenges are not insurmountable. I think I'm equal to the task uh, working within the collective. I will try my best to ensure that we fundraise for the ANC and get clean money uh, because the integrity of the ANC is very fundamental. And when you talk renewal, you need to ensure that the ANC fundraises in a professional manner and gets uh, funding from, you know, people with credibility. So I would, I would ensure that those things happen. I think my background in terms of um, good governance uh, speaks for itself. So I'm prepared to bring my skills into the fore to deal with those, to those matters. Especially since many business people don't want to be associated with the ANC these days. They don't want to fund the ANC. Yeah, there is that challenge, but it depends as to what is the integrity of the leadership collective that begins to fundraise from those people. Because if businesses do not trust you as the leadership, then you are going to be definitely confronted with people refusing to fund. because. The ANC must be self-sufficient and be self-sustainable. So those are challenges that we quickly have to, to work on uh, and to ensure that the ANC runs smoothly financially. Thank you very much for time. Zolile Williams is the provincial treasurer of the ANC in the Eastern Cape. Earlier on, Oscar Mabuyane raised the issue about how the ANC elects its leaders. He says he's still of the view that... Uh, 
each member of the ANC must be a situation of one vote or one member, one vote for the leadership of the ANC. In other words, if they were to elect the president of the governing party, all members of the ANC must vote to elect leadership to avoid the issue of slates, number one, but also lobby groups that end up trying to influence the elected leadership. Let's take a listen. The ANC must really look at this issue of how it elects leaders. Yes, there are discussions around those kind of issues. But we have said, this idea, when all these issues people are throwing, there are people money, people are buying this or that. We said, one member, one vote will kill some of these issues as part of the renewal agenda. So if you are a member of the ANC, you have a right to participate in electing a chairperson or a leadership. All members are allowed to do so, vote. And create a system and a process around that. When you get into a conference, we don't have this tension of credentials and other things. We are able to. So it's part of modernization that ANC can no longer run away from. And furthermore, as Pamanda, he also spoke uh, highly of the ANC president, Matamela Sramaposa. What did he have to say about uh, his leadership? Basically endorsing Sir, uh, President Sir Ramaphosa's bid for a second term as ANC president during the upcoming elective congress in December, saying South Africa needs someone of President Ramaphosa's caliber to take the ANC forward and the country forward, arguing that he is the perfect man for the ANC's top job, but also for the country's uh, top job. Take a listen. This country needs uh, the caliber of a president we have. Uh, president Cyril Ramaphosa uh, is one president after ANC has been taking this decision of renewal for some time. Because this uh, downward, down, downward, downward spiral trend uh, is not something that just came overnight. We have been seeing it. Uh, this issue of trust deficit, concerns that people have been raising, uh, they, these issues have been out there. One person, a president that has lifted the finger to say, I'm willing, even if myself as a president, I'm also thrown under the bus, but I'm willing that ANC must change. So you needed uh, that courage, you needed that kind of a leader uh, at this uh, particular um, uh, uh, juncture. There you have uh, Oscar Mabuyanis Pamandla praising Cyril Ramaphosa's uh, courage. The ANC is headed to a national conference, elective conference in December. Uh, Norman, I need to ask you this. I mean, there were challenges this weekend at this provincial um, uh, elective conference of the ANC in the Eastern Cape. Do you anticipate some legal battles between now and December over this election that was highly contested? Some of those who were lobbying for Babalo Matigizela are unhappy with the outcome. They are alleging that there was a manipulation of the credentials. They say the system was manipulated, hence it took days to adopt the credentials. They are still of the view that this conference did not go according to the rules. In other words, they are alleging that basically there are some people, including some NEC members, according to them, who were part and parcel as they allege that they were manipulating the credentials, hence they endorsed the conference. But you are bound to have such allegations when another group loses the conference. However, earlier when I spoke to Babalo Matigizela, who was contesting for the position of the provincial chairperson of the ANC in the Eastern Cape, he says to me he will be discouraging those who are supporting him from going to court in his name. He says he accepts the outcome. He will be supporting the newly elected leadership. And he has told ENCA that he will be resigning as the MEC responsible for public works in the Eastern Cape. He says early next week he will be engaging with the Premier of the province, who is Oscar Mabuyane, the newly elected chairperson of the ANC in the province, because he says he wants to focus on his businesses. He wants to go back to the private sector, but he will continue to be, to be politically active at his branch level, by the way, basically confirming that he will leave provincial government and also saying it discourages his supporters from going to court over this conference. He says he accepts the outcome. Thank you very much. Pamanja Koke for that uh, latest update there. Uh, the end of the ANC's provincial elective conference in the Eastern Cape. Still ahead.